All right. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for logging in to our webinar on mortgage rescue scams and fraud. My name is Rachel Dean, and I am presenting from Housing Opportunities Made Equal of Virginia. A couple of housekeeping items uh, before we get started. Um, there is a chat function on your GoToTraining module, and if you have questions, feel free to enter them into the chat box. I will try to address them as we go along, and uh, there will also be time at the end of the webinar for questions and answers. Um, also, you should know that I have posted the PowerPoint presentation for this webinar uh, to the GoToTraining module, so you should be able to access that by clicking on the Materials button. and um, you can uh, click on that presentation and download it for your use later on. Um, so it looks like we have just about everyone on right now, so we will get started with the presentation. Okay, so first off, I just want to tell you a little bit about HOME, or Housing Opportunities Made Equal. We are a nonprofit fair housing organization, and we've been around since 1971. Our mission is to ensure equal access to housing for all people. And we accomplish our mission through uh, three different centers. Uh, we have a Center for Housing Advocacy, which is our Fair Housing Enforcement Department. Uh, so the Center for Housing Advocacy actually counsels people who have been discriminated against under the fair housing laws. We do investigations and testing of housing providers, and we help people assert their rights under the Fair Housing Act. Our Center for Housing Education is actually our Housing Counseling Center. So what that department does is foreclosure prevention counseling. Uh, they also do down payment assistance counseling where we um, teach people how to be responsible homeowners and get their finances in order. We also have credit counseling classes. And you'll see our counselors around the state doing uh, several different types of education surrounding home ownership and uh, home finance. Our Center for Housing Leadership is really our policy advocacy center. So that department publishes research reports throughout the year. We've done a lot of work surrounding the foreclosure crisis. And we also lobby at Virginia's General Assembly each winter uh, to try to pass legislation that will help us um, carry out our mission to ensure equal access to housing for all people. So our topic today is foreclosure scams, or excuse me, foreclosure relief scams. And this is something that has really cropped up as a result of the nationwide foreclosure crisis. Uh, as you all know, uh, foreclosures have really skyrocketed uh, since the start of the recession. Um, the foreclosure crisis, by most accounts, began in 2007, 2008, with uh, just millions of homes going into foreclosure. Obviously, you've heard the news reports that there have been um, servicing issues from servicers. There have been lending issues. Uh, there have been some national settlements related to the foreclosure crisis. Lots and lots of people have lost their homes. Uh, what we're talking about today is a specific type of scam that is directed at vulnerable homeowners, people who are in danger of going into foreclosure. And what they're called is Mortgage Assistance Relief Services. Essentially, um, MARS uh, is the acronym for it. Uh, but these relief services are targeted toward people who are about to go into foreclosure, who may be um, in danger of default. And they're services that are offered to help people postpone that foreclosure. So it could be something like modifying the loan, reducing the principal of the loan, um, having interest rates lowered, having the loan term extended. Um, other types of uh, foreclosure prevention, like, like a deed in lieu of foreclosure, these are all services that can help people avoid foreclosure and stay in the home. And in fact, many of these services are very legitimate. They are often provided by nonprofit agencies like HOME and other HUD certified counseling agencies. And often the services are provided for free. Um, I know that at HOME we um, have a very good rate of success with helping people talk to their lenders about modifying loans and helping them stay in their homes. And so often these are legitimate services. But what we're talking about today are scam uh, services that are directed at vulnerable people and really aim to just make a profit and uh, the people don't actually see any benefit from the service. 
Um, so it, it's kind of a, something that has that has cropped up where people uh, who aren't very, uh, I guess, honest <laughs> um, are trying to take advantage of the foreclosure crisis. So as I said, uh, these schemes actually prey on desperate homeowners. So if you can imagine, perhaps you've counseled people yourself, uh, when someone is in danger of losing their home, uh, they are often desperate. They are very scared uh, about the impact on their credit and finances, as well as the impact on their family's daily life. Um, there are various formats to these scams, and we will go through them one by one. But again, the likely end result of, of any type of foreclosure rescue scam um, is that the homeowner will still end up going into foreclosure and they've actually lost even more money and it could be upwards of $5,000 that a family pays for these uh, phony services. Okay, so let's review the different types of scams uh, that comprise mortgage assistance relief services. The first type, and I would say this is the most common type that we see at home and that other consumer protection advocates see. It is a phantom or phony form of foreclosure counseling. So what happens is someone will call a company or be contacted by one of these scam companies and the company or the agent on the phone promises to negotiate with the lender to modify your loan. So they, they will usually promise, hey, I can get down or I can get your interest rate down to 2%. That's going to dramatically cut off your monthly mortgage payments. I'll shave off $600 a month for you. And um, I'm used to working with the bank, and this will allow you to stay in your home. There's often an upfront fee for this. And generally, the fees uh, nationwide are between $2,000 and $5,000. So the person uh, representing the foreclosure uh, relief company will say, hey, you pay me $2,000 up front and I guarantee I will save your home for you. For a desperate homeowner, you know, it may be the last $2,000 in the bank or they may be borrowing from friends or family to get that money together. They pay the money and then the foreclosure rescue company just disappears. You never hear from, from them again. They don't actually provide the services for you. Obviously, this is a form of fraud. But as we'll talk about later, it's also uh, dir directly in violation of a couple of federal laws that address mortgage assistance relief. The second most common form of a scam is what we call a forensic loan audit. Um, so again, there's an upfront fee involved here. But the scam company says, hey, you know, we know that there were all types of loans that were made that were, um, they, that they were not on the up and up. We know that lenders were really processing paperwork really quickly and there was probably um, a, an issue with your loan and that's probably why you've gone into foreclosure. You shouldn't be paying that much per month. So we're going to have our team of auditors review all of your loan documents to see if the lender complied with the law in place at the time you got your mortgage. They will often claim to have attorneys on their teams or they'll call them things like legal processors. And, you know, in fact, some law firms do this. There have, we know there have been issues with lending and servicing these loans. Um, but the scam companies will say, you know, hey, we, we've got these auditors on staff. And again, it's going to be $2,000 or, or $3,500 to get this service. And uh, we will force your lender with the evidence that we um, make, we'll force your lender to modify your loan. Total scam. And something to note, too, about these scams is that they, they often use a lot of high-pressure tactics. So uh, you'll hear the person saying, or, um, you know, we, we have a great rate of success. This is your last hope. You know, we can absolutely guarantee this for you. We work with this lender all the time. Um, you'll hear those, and they're, they're signs of a scam. Uh, the leaseback scam is, um, from what I've seen, one of the most horrific scams out there, and um, it has actually happened in the state of Virginia, which we'll discuss in a little while. Um, so the leaseback scam involves a company that says, hey, you know, we know that you're going to foreclosure, but we can save your home, and what we need you to do is actually give us the deed to your home, and we'll run it back to you. So this is the perfect situation. You can stay in your home. We're going to take over the obligation for your loan payments because you're going to give us the deed. And uh, you'll be able to stay. Your kids will be able to stay in the home. And you'll just rent from us. And eventually, we'll be putting money into escrow for you. And you'll be able to buy back the home from us. Um, this is 
absolutely horrific because it results in the total loss of the home as well as tons of damage to the person's uh, credit score and financial picture. Um, so anyone who is um, suggesting to a family or a borrower to surrender the deed to their home um, is, is not on the up and up. This is a scam um, and this is uh, actually just a, you know, going to end in total loss for the client. Um, the other uh, slightly related uh, scam is the bait and switch. And this is where you have a company who says, okay, you know, I can help you uh, get your mortgage up to date. I can you know, negotiate with your lender, try to get the loan modified. They give you a ton of paperwork to sign. There's lots of documents to sort through and, and you sign it, but buried within that paperwork was actually um, a document that surrenders the home title. So you end up losing the home anyway, um, and then the company can actually uh, initiate proceedings against you to get the, uh, get the home from you because you have actually signed it away. Um, the other, the, I guess the final type of scam, um, uh, in this type, the, the, the final type of assistance relief scam is uh, the equity skimming scam. Um, this is related to the lease back and the bait and switch. Um, so in these in these scams, the company is actually offering to find a buyer for your home, which is great because you know you need someone to take the home from you. You're falling behind on your mortgage, uh, but they condition that on you signing over the deed to your home and moving out. Um, so. Again, you're giving up all of your assets, you're giving away the home, and once you actually transfer the deed, um, the company actually just rents out the home for profit. So um, you're still on the note, you go into foreclosure, and you don't have the deed anymore. Um, again, it results in total loss of assets to the victim of the scam. The scams that I have just mentioned, the bait and switch, the phony help type scams, those have been around, uh, I'd say, since 2009, 2010. Um, at least that's when we've been, we saw, that started to see them uh, really cropping up. A new type of scam has actually emerged, and that is the result of the National Attorney General's Mortgage Servicing Settlement, which uh, took effect earlier this year. So uh, it's a claims administration scam. You'll see phony letters or emails going out to clients saying, hey, you know, you apparently have a loan with this bank and as a result of the settlement you may be eligible to get some money. Um, why don't you pay us a fee and we'll actually go through your documents for you and determine whether or not you have a stake in this settlement. We'll try to get you to some money for it. Um, this is pretty common. Uh, it's also happened with a couple of the um, the mortgage settlements that the, uh, the DOJ has taken control of. And uh, again, total scam, you know, you're going to lose that money and you're actually not going to have anyone helping you get that claim. Um, the best thing to do if you get a letter saying, hey, you might be part of this national mortgage settlement, is to contact the people who are in charge of the settlement. So you can go online, I'll show you some resources at the end. Um, but third-party companies um, often are going to be scammers. You need to contact the claims administrators directly and they will help you go through your documents. You don't actually need to hire a separate attorney or auditor to go through documents for you. Okay, so the next few slides here show some, uh, some of the high pressure, um, high fear tactics that uh, persuade people to take part in these scams and give over all their money and their assets. So um, particularly right after uh, President Obama's first election when he came into office, there were a lot of scam advertisements that invoked his image and invoked his name, I guess, as a way to um, you know, seem like they, it, it was very official. Um, this one obviously is not very official um, considering they have spelled the word lose incorrectly. Um, but so, you know, it says Obama new law can help. We've got a picture of the president right here in the lower left. And um, you see it says, call today to see if you qualify. It's free. Well, it is free to call to see if you qualify. Those are free phone calls. Um, but the services are actually going to be quite expensive. Um, so again, and they also, they're, they're um, referring to a law office here. I'm not sure if there was actually a lawyer who was barred and able to work um, to help people. But that's one advertisement that we found. Um, here's another one. We took this from a website 
about a year ago. Um, you can see that they, uh, this is Home Safe America, they call themselves loan modification experts. Um, and then they have the logos for many of these major banks. So you see Chase, Wells Fargo. Um, surprisingly, I don't see Bank of America on this one because usually BOA is very common, HSBC. Um, and so they're claiming to be affiliated with these banks. Um, that's not true. Um, the banks will actually do modifications for you if you contact them directly as a consumer. Now, we know that in past years it has been very hard to get through these banks, um, but the process is getting better and there are free government programs to help. Um, but the banks don't have, you know, third-party companies that they work with, you know, um, more commonly or, or have a special relationship with. So this is just, you know, false advertising. So, and again, you know the, pre the picture of President Obama um, signing some sort of law. So this is a common, you know, they commonly claim to be affiliated with the president, to be, be affiliated with the HAMP program, um, and then to have these special relationships with the banks where they can, they can get you in and get you modified very quickly. And here's another one. Um, this one is the um, Obama Home Affordable Modification Program, the Obama HAMP. Um, well, there is something called HAMP. It's not, uh, you know, it, it's not really affiliated with, a, with the president. It, it is a government program, and uh, the president helped to pass it. But um, uh, the, they're claiming some sort of relationship there that doesn't exist. Um, here's where they actually quote some rates. So they say they can get your rates down as low as 2%, get you a principal reduction, eliminate those late fees, and they don't need a credit check. And uh, it looks like they're claiming to have been featured on all of these news sites, uh, like CNBC. Um, and I seriously doubt that was the case. Okay, so how do these scams work? We've talked about the different forms of scams and the, the different ways people are trying to leach out your assets. Um, but how, you know, how do they actually do it? Well, they use a lot of pressure tactics. Um, so you'll, you'll see advertisements online or on the radio that are really geared toward those vulnerable homeowners who are about to lose their entire home. And so they'll say, hey, about to lose your home, we can help. Have you tried everything? You've tried talking to your lender, you're scared, we can help you. Um, they, they absolutely prey on the desperation there um, where people are just so scared that everything's going to fall down around them. There's also targeted marketing. We've seen um, that some of these companies will target um, lower income areas where they feel like there might be a lot of foreclosures. And they will also target uh, African American and Latino areas in particular um, by running you know, radio ads on traditionally African American or urban radio stations um, to try to take advantage of people that they feel might be more vulnerable or less informed. Um, there's typically going to be some sort of personal contact, so you may receive an email or a letter, um, and then obviously you can go online, uh, as any homeowner might do, and you know type in loan modification, and the um, results in Google or Yahoo or whatever search engine uh, will pop up, and they will be for these companies. Um, typically, there will be you know some first contact, whether they contact you um, or you contact them directly. There's going to be you know some initial phone conversation, and that's really where they try to pitch their services. The scammers will ask you, you know, are you behind? How much money do you owe? What's your interest rate? They take that information and they will immediately start saying, you know, wow. That is an extremely high interest rate. Uh, we can get you down to 3%. I can't believe you're paying so much. Oh, I feel so sorry for you. You know, I know that you know, we're in hard times. People are losing their jobs. Um, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, really trying to sound like they're on your side. And then they start to pitch a service. And so what happens is they make promises and they will quote you actual numbers. They, they'll say, you know, you're at $1,200 a month now, I know for sure I can get you down to $700 a month payment, and I think that's going to help you stay in your home, and I have an amazing relationship with the people over at Wells Fargo, and we're going to get you in there. They may also make pretty threatening comments. They may say, you know, um, you have just been totally scammed, <laughs> and uh, we're going to threaten legal action against your lender. If they don't modify your loan, we have a network of attorneys, and we're going to threaten legal action. Um, and then they will you know, say, hey, if you want to get started, it's going to be $500 right now, and then you're going to owe us more money when we get you the service. 
and they will typically send out some follow-up documents uh, for you to review. And they may claim to have a network of attorneys. Um, sometimes this is true, sometimes it's not. Um, th again, they, they're really using pressure tactics here. Um, we have seen some scam companies who have said literally, they've literally told a client, you know what, it's your funeral. It's your home that you're going to use, and I'm telling you that I can get you some help. But you know what, if you don't want to go for me, it's your funeral. You'll lose your home. Um, so a couple red flags to watch out for. And we will discuss these um, in the context of the actual laws prohibiting this behavior in a minute. But a couple red flags for you and your clients um, as you navigate these scams. Anyone who's requiring an advance fee for services um, is probably a scammer. It is okay to charge fees for these services. Many agencies, such as Home, will not charge fees. They will be completely free. Um, but it is okay to, to charge from them, but they need to be um, fees that are associated at the completion of the service. So um, you need to do something first, and then you can ask for the money. So upfront fees are a big no-no. If you find someone asking for that, it's probably a scam. Um, next are these promises and these guarantees. Um, you'll see people who say, I, you know, I have a 95% success rate. I promise I can find mistakes in your loan documents that are going to make me able to force Bank of America to modify your loan. Um, I can guarantee you that you will stay in your home. We have this amazing success rate. We've helped millions of people. Um, you know, any type of guarantee or promise like that is, first of all, it's, it's unlawful um, under consumer protection laws. It's also not good business. <laughs> so it's uh, definitely a red flag if someone is making these outlandish promises to you. You know, unfortunately, it's not always um, possible that a loan can be saved, um, even for some of the best HUD-certified housing counseling agencies. So that's a definite red flag. Um, another red flag, and this is very common, um, is any company that advises you to just stop making payments outright. Um, you know, just stop making payments, stop talking to your mortgage company, uh, you need to just go further in the, in the hole. Um, some companies will actually say, you know, look, I know you have a limited income, and uh, why don't you stop paying on that mortgage and pay me the money that you would have sent to your mortgage company and we're going to get your loan totally squared away. That's a total red flag. And um, no one should be advising you to, st uh, to stop contacting your mortgage company or to let them take that over. Um, that, that's just a um, total scam tactic. Um, again, and this goes back to the, the, the sale leaseback type thing. If anyone is advising you to actually transfer your home to them or to give them your deed so that they can take over the payments, that is an outright scam. Um, no housing counseling agency would do that. Um, so that's a red flag. And um, something very interesting that we've seen in the past couple years is that some of these scam companies actually encourage people to lie on loan modification paperwork or submit fraudulent documents in order to get the mod pushed through. Um, so you, you know, we saw something about a year ago where a company was saying, you know what? Um, it looks like you are um, a little too high in terms of income to get a modification. So why don't you just um, dock that income about $20,000 a year so we can slide you in there? Or um, why don't you, you know, make up the fact that you own this other rental property and that you're making mortgage payments on that? Because um, that will help us get you a loan modification. Um, that is absolutely a violation of the law and um, a red flag. If anyone is encouraging you to submit fraudulent information to your lender or to the government, um, total scam, run away. And again, it's, the, the, it's your funeral comment. Um, if, if you're you know, working with someone who's really placing pressure on you um, and not actually giving you a good counseling experience, then it's probably a loan modification scammer. Here is a list of some of the um, promises that are made. Um, you know, I like the one at the bottom, keep your home. We know your home is scheduled to be sold, no problem. Um, you know, it is possible to stop a foreclosure right before the sale date, but uh, I highly doubt that, this, that this, these scammers are doing that all the time. Um, 
you know, we have special relationships with the banks that can speed up the approval process. That's a lie. You know, there are there are no special relationships. I mean, you may know someone at the bank, but um, the banks don't have preferred uh, loan modification advocates. So those are, again, some of the promises that are made. Um, these promises are actually do violate some federal laws, but again, they're, they're just not good business. Um, no one should be promising you uh, a positive outcome from your foreclosure. Okay, so let's talk about the law that actually pertains to mortgage assistance relief services. Um, these types of scams are usually a violation of the law at both the state and the federal level. So I'm going to talk about the federal regulations that go with this and also the Virginia regulations. I'm not sure if all of you are in Virginia, but I will also show a website where you can look up the regs in your own state. Um, just to note, there are scam companies cropping up in all 50 states all over the country, and it, it really is a game of whack-a-mole. Um, it is hard to get relief for clients um, on an individual level because often these companies will crop up, they'll run the scam, they'll make up several thousand dollars, and then they shut their doors and it, they're gone. Um, it's hard to track them down. So there hasn't been a lot of progress in helping people individually, you know, filing complaints in their own name, but um, both state and federal enforcement agencies are on many of these cases trying to shut down these scammers and get some settlements where you, there might be some claims to have. Um, in Virginia, it's the Virginia Office of the Attorney General and the Office of Consumer Affairs who are after these companies, and the Federal Trade Commission at the federal level is also trying to track them down. Okay, so about two years ago, the Federal Trade Commission passed a regulation called the Mortgage Assistance Relief Services Rule, or the MARS Rule, and it specifically addresses these scam companies in the wake of the foreclosure crisis. So, first thing to know about the MARS Rule is that it outlaws upfront fees unless you're an attorney. So you do not have to pay any money until you actually get a result. Um, companies cannot charge fees until you've actually received a written offer from the lender for a loan modification and you've accepted the, the offer. So they, they can't charge until the service is actually completed and they've actually done something for you. Um, again, that doesn't pertain to attorneys and we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but if if someone's asking for upfront fees, you really need to be suspicious there. Um, also, there are required disclosures under the MARS rule. So this really gets at some of these outlandish promises that people are making. Um, so these mortgage assistance relief companies cannot state, uh, or excuse me, they must state that they're not affiliated with the government, um, that they're not part of HAMP, that they're not part of HARP, that these services are not actually approved by your lender. They need to disclose that. They also need to disclose that the lender may not agree to change the loan. So again, this is the kind of 100% guarantee issue. Um, they need to disclose that, you know what, you know, sometimes the lenders don't agree to change the loan. We may not be able to get you a mod. Um, they are allowed to say, um, you know, stop making your mortgage payments, but they have to warn you of the effect on the actual loan itself. It may get you deeper in the hole and the effect on your credit if you just stop and give back your house, um, they have to warn you of the effect there. And um, they must disclose the total cost of their services so they can't have these hidden tacked on fees. And they need to tell you that you can stop using their help at any time if, if you want to. As I said before, under the Mars rule, um, these companies cannot tell you to stop talking to your lender. That's a huge no-no. You need to stay in contact with your lender. And they should not be discouraging you from using free government services such as HAMP or HARP. Um, that is a tactic we've seen. It has happened in a couple of companies around Virginia where the agent who is trying to sell you this service is saying, oh, you know what, there is a free program called HAMP, but you don't want to use that. It's really terrible. Um, you know how the government works. It's a total bureaucracy. You're not going to get that assistance that you need, which is why you should pay me the $2,000 and I'll help you. So they're not allowed to discourage the consumer from using those free government services. There is an attorney exemption to the Mars rule. So, you know, this is a legitimate practice. Attorneys can actually get involved in the loan process and um, 
file documents with your lender that can um, force the lender to, to modify your loan. Um, and it, you know, it's a legitimate practice of consumer law. And attorneys can require upfront fees. So, you know, generally in the legal practice, attorneys can charge what we call retainers uh, for their services. But in the context of mortgage assistance relief services, an attorney can only charge an upfront fee if the attorney is licensed to practice law in the state where your home is located. Um, we will see companies who claim to have this nationwide network of attorneys and they're going to help you save your home in Virginia, but really they're only attorneys in California. Um, no, the, the attorney can only be charging an upfront fee if he or she can practice law in the state where your house is. Um, they have to be providing you with real legal services, um, so it can't be someone who's posing in, as an attorney. Um, and if you have any questions about that, you can go to the website for the state bar in whatever state you're located in and just look up to see if this person is in fact licensed and in good standing with that state bar association. Um, they also have to be complying with state ethics requirements. And legal ethics do vary from state to state, um, but general ethics say you should not be committing fraud against your client, you should not be stealing from your client, and you should be keeping your client's retainer fees in an escrow account uh, for the client um, that you're drawing down from. And um, you can see that there. They, they need to place your money in a trust account. Um, and the, the account can't be zeroed out until the actual legal relationship is finished and they have actually provided you with those legal services. So that's the MARS rule at the federal level, just some general prohibitions there. There's also Virginia state law that addresses these mortgage assistance relief services and these scams. It's part of the Virginia Consumer Protection Act, which governs most uh, trade and um, um, consumer transactions in the state of Virginia. So the VCPA also prohibits upfront payment of fees. So again, you're, you know, you're running into two different laws here, upfront fees, huge red flag, and it is against the law both federally and in Virginia. Okay. So throughout this presentation, I have been referring to companies that I have some sort of knowledge of in Virginia, and that's because HOME actually completed an investigation of these foreclosure rescue scams um, in 2010 and 2011. We actually partnered with a whole group of fair housing agencies across the, com the country. We called ourselves the Rescue Partners, and we were all looking at rescue scams targeted in our individual respective states. So um, we actually looked at scams that were targeted at victims in Virginia. And what we did was actually called companies posing as someone who um, may be in danger of foreclosure just to see what kind of advice they were giving us and try to document some of these unlawful um, and really just morally terrible uh, practices that people were doing. Most of the companies that we investigated were based in California and Florida. Um, since that time, both of those states have done a tremendous job in trying to track down companies and boot them out. Um, so, the, you know, scammers do exist nationwide, but most of the companies are actually based in those areas. And um, very often in our investigations, they would tell us that uh, there would be an attorney associated with our case. Um, you know, we're going to assign you to our network of attorneys. We're going to uh, put someone on your case to look over it. Uh, and then we would look up the attorney, and the attorney wasn't actually licensed to practice in Virginia. So, that, again, you know, that's a red flag of a scam, and it's also a direct violation of the MARS rule. So um, when we published uh, results of this investigation in 2011, I have some statistics here to show you. 54% um, of the companies we looked at encouraged the homeowner or borrower to just stop making payments outright or to stop contacting their lenders. 50% of them required that upfront fee or else they were charging a huge initial fee but they had only done like a, a little bit of work. Like, they would send you documents or, <laughs> or look at your loan and then they would charge you the $2,000. Um, that's a violation of the rule. Those fees really can't be charged until there's been a completed service. 
45% of the firms we looked at actually guaranteed that they would get um, your loan modified. Or they offered other enticements. So they would say, you know, um, we can um, we, we can get your, we, your principal reduced. Or we can get you all of your fees, uh, all of your late fees are going to be waived. Um, so they, they made those promises outright. Interestingly, 25% of the companies we looked at actually encouraged the homeowner to provide fraudulent information um, or you know, make things up, basically, um, to help get the modification. And 25% also discouraged homeowners from seeking free government programs like HAMP. Um, you know, we talked about the lease back type of scam and this actually happened in Northern Virginia. It was something um, that the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights under law was involved with um, earlier this year. So there was a company formed called Bella Homes. It was actually um, based in Colorado and they were reaching out to Latino borrowers um, through something that we call affinity marketing. So they would send people to churches and they would place ads in Spanish and the people might, um, their agents might look or sound Latino or speak Spanish. They were clearly reaching out to Latino homeowners. And they were saying, hey, I know you're in danger of foreclosure, so let me take your deed, just give it to me, and uh, you'll stay in your home and pay rent to me, and uh, everything will be great. Well, you know, this happened to a family in Northern Virginia. They actually lost their home, um, but they were able to get help, and there was a civil rights case actually filed against Bella Homes under the fair housing laws in addition to the um, consumer protection laws. Uh, because they had been targeting people based on national origin. So in addition to the consumer protection angle here, there can also be a fair housing angle if people are being targeted or sought out because of one of the protected classes under the fair housing laws. Um, and you can see here, I put down, um, there was a $1.2 million recovery, and uh, there were 450 uh, people approximately who were victimized by Bella Homes across the country. Okay. So if you or your clients feel that uh, there's been a scam, there are a couple of places to turn for help. You can lodge a complaint with the Better Business Bureau. You can contact your local uh, attorney general in your state. Again, um, here it's just the, the Virginia Office of the Attorney General. And in Virginia, there's also the Office of Consumer Affairs where you can lodge complaints that have to do with consumer transactions. The OCA will actually refer um, any mortgage rescue scam materials to the Office of the Attorney General to investigate. And the AG's office in Virginia has actually done a very good job. They are very much aware of these scams. They are targeting people. They have filed lawsuits um, against a couple of companies down in the Hampton Roads area. So um, absolutely, if you come across a scam or feel that you or your client has been scammed, you should report it to OCA or the AG's office. There is also a um, nationwide on, uh, online database of loan scams. It's you know, right here, permitloanscams.org. And it is part of the Loan Modification Scam Prevention Network. So there are uh, several housing counseling agencies and consumer protection agencies who are affiliated in this network. You can see all of their logos right here. The PreventLoanScams.org website is actually maintained by the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights Under Law in D.C. And it is a way to log alleged scammers um, to create a centralized database of complaints. And also it's just a very informative educational website to visit. So uh, I'm going to show you the website in a minute. Just to know that um, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and NeighborWorks America were involved in starting this uh, scam prevention network. Um, Home has worked with the network quite frequently over the past three years. We've um, sent out fact sheets and other mailings to consumers to warn them of the scams and to help them know that this uh, centralized database is there. Um, it allows people to input information and report scams, and it's a centralized place for nonprofits and advocates to go uh, to find out which scammers are where and, and who you need to be on the lookout for. All right. 
So we're going to go to All right, so here is the website. I think it's a fantastic website. It's very well done. Um, here's the report a scam button front and center. So if you have a scam that you want to log in the database, you click on that, and it will actually bring up a very um, simple com complaint form for you. So it's a very simple complaint form. It's going to ask you um, how things were advertised and what you were told. And you submit that. And there's a way to actually submit your address and your um, location information so we know what state you were in. There's also a way to search nationwide scam reports on this box here. And it actually allows you to search for complaints that were submitted in your state. So if we say Virginia, Click there. You can see, it'll pull up in a minute, you can see that since the database was created, 614 loan scams have been documented through this website. And that's in about a three year period. There's also some really great information if you actually click on your state in this map here. You can get state-specific information about these mortgage rescue scams. And I think this is one of the most useful and functional um, parts of this website. So here we are in Virginia. And you can visit a counseling page. You can also see uh, a listing of all the legal services agencies in the state that could help you. Um, there's a way to pr uh, report a scam. And there's also really helpful information here about the actual laws that apply uh, to mortgage relief scams in Virginia. And my favorite part is actually the list of alleged scammers. So you can find companies that have allegedly scammed people by state. So you can see a state by state listing here and you can tab down to Virginia. And here's actually a listing of some of the um, companies and individuals that have had legal action taken against them. Um, something to note here, there's a, there's a mention of the state bar. Um, if you do come across an, a, someone who's posing as an attorney or someone who is licensed as an attorney um, who appears to be violating both uh, or either ethics laws or the MARS rule, you can report them to the state bar in that area and there will be an investigation commenced. So very functional website there. Um, if you come across a scam, absolutely report it because uh, that just really helps agencies work together to go after these companies. There's also a paper complaint form available, and it is available in several languages. Um, so you can actually download that and fill it out if your client would feel more comfortable with a paper form. And there are permissions that re are required. So anytime uh, you file a complaint, the information will be shared with several different agencies so we can work together and get these companies booted out of the market. As I stated with the Bella Homes case, there are also there is also the potential of some scams that actually violate the fair housing laws. And anytime you're treating people differently because of race, color, national origin, religion, gender, disability, or familial status, um, you may be violating the fair housing laws. So that's something to note. Um, when we receive information about scams at home, we do review them to make sure that there was no discrimination under the fair housing laws. Um, brief overview of the fair housing laws. Um, Federal Fair Housing Act passed in 1968. I've listed the protected classes here. And the Virginia Fair Housing Law also protects those, those classes. And we actually have the additional protected class of elderliness. If you do think that there's been some sort of fair housing discrimination, there is the option to file a complaint with the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development or the Virginia Fair Housing Office. Um, and the administrative complaint process is free. Uh, there's a one-year statute of limitations on that. There's also the option of filing a, a fair housing complaint directly in federal or state court. 
So that's just helpful to know that in addition to the consumer protection laws, um, some of these scams may violate the fair housing laws. All right, so we're going to wrap it up now and I'll take questions. So if you have any questions, please type them in the chat box there. Um, there's also our website here and contact information. And I'm going to type my email address into the chat box in case you have any questions you would like to ask me directly. But if you use the chat box here, um, I will see the questions as they come up. And I'll give you a few moments to ask questions. Okay, someone has asked just to repeat what we do. Um, housing Opportunities Made Equal is a statewide fair housing and housing counseling agency. We are a nonprofit agency. We um, help people who have been victims under the fair housing laws, and we also have a very robust foreclosure prevention counseling team. So we actually offer HUD certified free foreclosure prevention prevention services for people. If you're in danger of foreclosure and you have a home in the state of Virginia, you can contact us at this phone number and we will try to help you save your home um, through loan modification and other loss, mitig loss mitigation strategies. Um, and that is free and HUD certified. We also um, enforce the fair housing laws. We do fair housing testing and investigations and offer education around the state of Virginia. Okay, well, it doesn't look like there are any questions. Again, if you do have a question, then you can email me. My address is there in your chat box. And uh, you can go to our website, which is phonehome.org, and find more information and contact us there. Um, <laughs> so thank you so much for um, watching this presentation. Um, I have uploaded the PowerPoint for you in the materials section of your module. So you can download that for your use if you need to look through it for notes. And we really appreciate it. Again, contact us if you need any more information. We do have a fact sheet on our website. But thank you so much and have a great afternoon.